I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Strength card and it's with a Nine of Wands. So, this is telling me that you could have built a wall, or you felt like build, building a wall with a Nine of Wands here against this person, against the connection. You didn't want this person to come anywhere near you. Yeah, the Nine of Wands doesn't let anyone get past the barricade. They just stand there. Yeah, for some of you, you just, you could have had some anxiety about this person or the connection. And you wanted to close yourself off to it. Yeah, you could have been realizing it's time to work on you. It's time to do you. Because the strength card is here. The strength card can be about self-love. Self-respect, being the best you can be, empowering yourself. Yeah, but that's the recent past energy between you and your person. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Well, we got the Two of Cups, and it's with the King of Pentacles. Now, this is telling me that this person that you put up a wall against, uh, they, they want success, they still want success with you, with the connection, King of Pentacles is all about success, they feel like you're their ideal mate, you're the one for them with the Two of Cups here, they feel a deep connection with you, a strong bond. Two of Cups could be about marriage, commitment, childbirth. They want success with you, Cancer. Yes, they do. For some of you, you're dealing with your same sign. A Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. And because the Pentacles is here, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Taurus a Virgo or Capricorn. Yeah, they they think that you're the one for them. You're their perfect mate. That's how they're feeling. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see. Let's see what the challenge is. We got the Three of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So, the Three of Swords can be about heartbreak. It can be about getting yeah getting hurt heartbreak severing ties closing yourself off yeah ace of cups is here though so they could be reaching out to you wanting some fresh new start or a powerful new beginning with you yeah ace of cups they got a lot of love for you here the cups can be about love yeah but you're you're breaking this person's heart for some of you you will not be Replying to their messages or reaching back. Ace of Cups, messages of, of love, some fresh new start, new beginning this person wants. It's showing that they'll be hurt if they reached out or they're, they're already hurt. Because they feel you're the one for them. You're their ideal mate. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see. What, what the outcome is. We got the Ace of Wands and Justice. So, for a lot of you Cancers, you're ready for a new beginning, but I'm not getting that it's with this person. Ace of Wands, another new beginning. And that's you. You're ready for the sun to shine. You're ready for a new day. A new, a new beginning, a fresh new start, a new lease on life. 
you closed yourself off to this person a long time ago or or a while ago with the nine of wands here for the recent past energy. Yeah, like I said, you started to work on you and to build yourself up and to try to feel great again. I don't know what happened, but this person is hurt. They want back in. They want success with you. They feel like you're you're the perfect person for them. They could be reaching out. Some of you, you'll be hearing from this person. Ace of Cups is here. They, got, they still have love for you. Justice is showing up here for the outcome. You could be feeling like this person needs to do right by you. Or you could be feeling like some type of wrong that they did needs to be made right. Yeah, you feel, you feel like there was some type of injustice that was never made right. And you're just going for just a new beginning, a new lease on life. And I don't get it with this person. I can't you got somebody that's holding on to you. So that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings. They do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link, there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next, for the next Cancer reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Cancer, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you come back and join me for the next reading. I hope all of you are doing well. Have a great day and take care.